What's up guys? So once again, this video was shot before my last haircut, of course, as you can tell. This is the last pre-shot video that I made because I really wanted to be able to cover this topic while I've got the length to do so. And what do you know? All it took was an eight month break from YouTube to just leave my hair alone, let it go wild, let it do its thing. No YouTube comments with people's opinions being like, grow it out. You never change it up, grow it out. Oh no, wait, wait, cut it. It doesn't look good. Take it short. All this back and forth and blah, blah, blah. Nah. None of that. I was fully able to embrace and experience for the first time ever what it's like to get zero haircuts for the last seven months. If you didn't see my hair tutorial on this hairstyle while I've got it at this length, that was my last video. So I will have it linked right up there and in the description down below. So if you wanna know how to style it, um, check out that video. But today I wanted to throw some context out there for anyone who might be in a similar boat. Maybe you've been thinking about growing out your hair for the first time, or you have started growing out your hair and you're looking for that boost of morale. That's what I'm here for today. There's six things that I've learned, and this is stuff that I couldn't really comment on with as much authority beforehand. But now that I've experienced it, I've had to, to you know, really live it firsthand. But I think every guy should know who really wants to try and grow out their hair for the first time. The first thing and the point that really anchors this whole video breaks down into two parts. Just accept that you don't know what's gonna happen once you start your hair growing journey and just don't even try and picture what it's gonna look like. If you've never done it before, it's really hard to imagine. And number two, understand that the awkward stage truly doesn't last forever. It might feel like it though. I'm not saying my hair is perfect. I'm sure if I left it even more, you know, there'd be more development, but it works and styles way better now than it even did like two months ago. It's just starting to fall much more naturally and kind of stay in position. When people used to ask me like, Joe, why don't you ever grow your sides out? Why don't you ever just grow your hair out like for real? I would always say because every time I try, my hair just gets poofier and poofier. It just grows out and gets wider and wider and I just feel like I'm getting an afro. For me, when I start to grow my sides out, they just get poofier and poofier. So I'm probably gonna be keeping my sides pretty tight. The first thing that you're gonna notice when you start growing out your sides is that your head is gonna start looking a little wider and wider. And the thing is, that is true for a few months. But I finally gave myself a longer period of time. Of course, with this break from YouTube, I pretty much haven't cut my hair this entire time. And what I learned is that I was able to control the poof with longer hair. You gotta let it get poofy so that it gets long enough to control the poof. If you don't think you've got what it takes to have longer hair, consider this a chance to prove yourself wrong. It's a constant styling experiment as you're learning what your hair's wanting to do. And hey, if you're finding that it's really tough, that brings us to point number two. Bad hair days are real bad and styling your hair takes forever. This is of course gonna depend on hair type to a degree, but especially for me, getting my hair to look anything like this, anything remotely, uh, passable to leave the house, man. It just takes forever. As you can see here, this is what my hair looks like naturally with no styling effort. Uh, I think I like got in the hot tub and got back out and just let my hair dry naturally. And yeah, it's kind of a pain. This is what it looks like when I let it dry naturally, but I push it backwards. So, you know, it's a little better, but it's still very poofy. So bad hair day, if either you just haven't styled it that day or you just woke up with hair from the day before, you can forget about it. It's not happening. Your only two choices are to style that thing from scratch or throw on a hat. A hat will be your best friend. Up until this point, I never really got hats. I never really minded how they look. I mean, I think I can suit a hat, you know, just like your average Joe. It took me way too long to realize how much a hat simplifies things on days when you simply just don't want to do your hair or if you are going strong in the awkward stage. A hat is the perfect solution when nothing you do to your hair just looks good. That is what the awkward stage means. Throw on a hat. Just pretend that the hat is being used as a buffer. You know, it's a buffer period, a buffer stage while your hair starts to grow a little bit longer again and gets back to listening to what you want it to do. You guys may have seen from a little while back on Instagram, I was messing with a kind of middle part look. And I mean, that was the best I could do at the time, which wasn't bad, but it was also kind of obviously doing the best with what you've got mode. And even if you've gotten past it, okay, your hair isn't in the awkward stage anymore. A hat is still a great thing to use on days when you don't want to style your hair because you got to be ready to change up your hair products. Your go-to products for the style that you normally go for probably won't be the same as your hair starts to get longer. My go-to for the longest time has been Cloud Control Hair Oil and Original by Blue Mon as a pre-styler and then usually Cavalier Heavy Clay as a post. This is the perfect combo for me when I've got like that classic quiff or that forward textured fringe that you all know me for, but with longer hair, I've changed it up. I mean, I still use Cloud Control Hair Oil. I mean, it's, it's literally the best hair oil 
in the game. There's no beating around the bush with that one. Like go to for every hair, hairstyle for sure. But now on top of that, I really like using Fit Sample Pomade as a pre-styler because it just adds a little bit of slickness. And then I usually finish it off with Monarch Matte Paste. So I still get some texture and hold, but the end result is just a little bit more natural and flowy. So you gotta mess around, you know, try out different products, see what works for you. But just know, no matter what hairstyle or hair length you've got, there is a Bloom On product for you, bloomon.com for all your hair styling needs. Link down below. Quick tip as well, when it comes to styling, I haven't gotten a haircut, like I said, but the only thing that I've been doing is trimming up my sideburns probably about once a month, just so they don't get all scraggly. It depends a little bit on the hairstyle you're going, but for, at this length, it just works to keep it a little bit trimmed up. Finally, this is the last one. Let me tell you, it's all about character. What kind of man are you? You got strong wit? Hmm? Don't let people or even yourself sway you away from your goals. We're getting deep over here. To be honest, I think the only reason why I really tried growing out my hair for the first time is because I stopped posting YouTube videos for a while. What I was trying to say is if I was still posting on YouTube, uh, I don't think I would have made it through the awkward stage without seeing a ton of comments saying that my hair just looks whack. And looking back, I know that it shouldn't have mattered, but I also know that it would have at the time because I just didn't know what to expect. Ignore what people say and do it for yourself. At the end of the day, hair is hair and hair is easy to change, it's easy to grow back. So if you grow it out, you don't like it, piece of cake to fix. So really, there's no harm in trying, especially if you've never done it before. Anyways, guys, that's it from me for now. Next time you see me, I will be back to short hair by the end of the video. By the end of next video, I'll be back to short hair. If you didn't hear yet that I am officially opening up a salon, check out the video right here. It is a collaboration between Blumon and Hans de Fuca. We're joining together, creating a new venture. It's a crazy story. Um, and you should definitely check out that video if you haven't yet. Learn about that whole story. It's right up there. And until next time, stay hairy.